Louis Henry Joseph de Bourbon, Prince of Condé, was the Prince of Condé from 1818 to his death. He was the brother-in-law of Philippe Galate and nephew of Victoire de Rouen. Life. He was the only son of Louis Joseph, Prince of Condé, and his wife, Charlotte de Rouen. As a member of the reigning House of Bourbon, he was a Prince du Sang and was entitled to the style of Serene Highness. Prior to his accession to the Condé title, while he was known as the Duke of Enghien and later as Duke of Bourbon, on succeeding his father he was entitled to the style of Royal Highness. Marriage. On 24 April 1770, he married Batilda de Layens, only surviving daughter of Louis Philippe de Layens, Duke of Orleans and Louise Henriette de Bourbon. The couple were married in the chapel at the Palace of Versailles and were descended from Louis XIV to the same degree. In 1772 their only son, Louis Antoine, Duke of Enghien, was born. The marriage was not a happy one, and in 1780 the couple separated. Louis never remarried. Shortly afterwards, Louis Henry began a public affair with an opera singer, Marguerite Mimi Michelot, which resulted in two illegitimate daughters, one of whom, Adol, went on to marry the Comte de Roy. During the French Revolution, Louis Henry accompanied his father into exile in England and survived the purge of the House of Bourbon in France, which cost the life of King Louis XVI and his Queen Marie Antoinette, amongst others. In 1804, his son, the Duke of Enghien, was abducted in Germany by order of Napoleon and executed in the moat of the Chateau de Vincennes on trumped-up charges of treason. The Duke of Enghien had been married to Charlotte de Rouen for less than two months and had no issue. Louis Henry returned with his father to France after the defeat of Napoleon in 1814, and both recovered their fortunes and public status. On his father's death in 1818, he assumed the title of Prince de Condé. End of the Condé The line of Bourbon Condé came to an end with Louis Henry II's death under suspicious circumstances in 1830, shortly after the July Revolution. While in exile in 1811, the Duc de Bourbon had made the acquaintance at a bordello in Piccadilly of one Sophia d'Or's order, a maid in a brothel from the Isle of Wight. He set the woman and her mother up in London in a house on Gloucester Street. There, she went through an extensive educational program after the Bourbon Restoration in 1815. Louis Henry brought her to Paris and arranged a marriage for her to Baron Adrian Victor de Fuchiers, an officer in the Royal Guard. This was done to allow Sophia entry into French society. However, in the course of setting up her marriage license, Sophia lied on several particulars. Fuchiers, who became an aide to the duck, believed for several years that Sophia was a natural daughter of Louis Henry II. When he discovered the truth, he separated from his wife, and informed King Louis XVIII of the real relationship between Louis Henry and Sophia. The king banned Sophia from court. In revenge, Sophia approached the head of the House of Orleans, the Duke of Orleans and through him made a new entry into society. In return, she agreed to use her influence on the aging Louis Henry II to have him set up a will making the son of Louis Philippe, Prince Henry, Duke of Aumel, the old prince's main heir. Sophia was given two million francs for her services in the matter. The new Bourbon king, Charles X, eventually accepted her back at court. She was again considered acceptable by polite French society. She was even able to arrange the marriage of a niece to a nephew of Talleyrand. By now, Louis Henry was trying to get away from the mistress who had taken over his life. In the summer of 1830, he returned to his home at saint Leu. There, he heard of the July Revolution. Sophia immediately set about to get him to recognize the New Orleans monarchy. When on 27 August 1830 he was found hanging dead from his window, the baroness was suspected and an inquiry was held which formally declared the death to be a suicide. There were rumors that the new king of the French, Louis Philippe, 
had collaborated with Sophie in the crime as they feared that she and Louis Phillips' son Amal, the testamentary heirs of Condé might be disinherited by the prince after a possible flight abroad. Later, rumours circulated amongst the nobility that Condé had died pleasuring himself, engaged in what would later be known as autoerotic asphyxiation. With the evidence of death being the result of any crime appearing insufficient, the Baroness was not prosecuted, although she was involved in litigation regarding the inheritance for years to come. There are some aspects of the relationship between Sophia and the prince that William Thackeray may have had in mind in the novel Vanity Fair, regarding Becky Sharp possibly killing Joseph Sedley. The prince's lands and wealth passed to his godson, the Duke of Amal. His father, Louis Philippe, was the feudal law heir to Conti and Condé, being the grandson of Louise Henriette de Bourbon, a daughter of Louise Elizabeth de Bourbon, who was sister of Louis Henry II's grandfather. Issue. Louis Antoine de Bourbon, Duke of Enghien, died without issue. Ancestry. Titles. Styles. Honours and arms. Titles and Styles The 13th of April 1756 to 2 August 1772 His Serene Highness the Duke of Enghien The 2nd of August 1772 to 13 May 1818 His Serene Highness the Duke of Bourbon The 13th of May 1818 to 21 September 1824 His Serene Highness the Prince of Condé the 21st of September 1824 to 30 August 1830. His Royal Highness the Prince of Condé. Reference. Carrot C for instance D-I-E-K-S-T-R-A. René de Machtvani Matris. Character Huge Devers B.V. Wathorn. 2011. 431p. Bibliography. John Goldworth Alger. Dawes. Sophia. In Stephen. Leslie. Dictionary of National Biography 14, London, Smith, Elder & Co., Smith Hughes, Jack Eight Studies in Justice, 124-153, C.H. Vi, Royal Justice, The Conscience of a Citizen King, 